Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Low Stim High uh, Challenge series. Uh, this is the gameplay series where I will be kind of, you know, challenging myself, but still in a chill atmosphere. So uh, today we're taking a look actually at a Nuzlocke challenge, something I've wanted to try on video for a while now. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to complete one up to this point. So um, here we are. Let's, uh, let's see if I can do it this time. So like that music's bopping, but we don't need that while we're trying to explain the rules here. Um, so, you know, let's throw the Nuzlocke rules up on the screen instead of these boring uh, tutorials. We already know how to play Pokemon on this channel. Let's go. Uh, so basically, first rule of the challenge uh, is the is what makes it the biggest challenge itself. Wow, I gotta turn this down. I did not realize it was gonna blast my eardrums right away. So um, your Pokemon faints. That just essentially means that uh, your Pokemon's dead and gone. That's it. You can't use them anymore. Um, you got to catch the first Pokemon in each route or like location. So basically, whenever you get a location name pop up on the screen, if you can catch Pokemon there, then the first encounter will be um, what you catch for the route. Uh, of course, there is exceptions to this. Um, if you already have a Pokemon that you encounter, then like it's the same species clause. Um, you know, if you catch a shiny Pokemon or you find a shiny Pokemon, you can try to catch it. That's the shiny clause because they're so rare that it's not very common you're going to get see one in a normal playthrough. Um, and then static encounters. Those are the overworld Pokemon that basically will just kind of be events. Um, and those will be kind of exceptions to the rule. Um, but if there's like a bunch in one route, then I'll maybe like break it down to one per. But that's the rules on that. You, um, Kind of an optional rule, but most go by it is uh, you must nickname each Pokemon. You got to get attached to them. You got to make it hurt. Um, and normally, um, if you want to go hardcore, um, whiting out or having all your Pokemon faint in a battle will be a game over. That's not what I'm going to do. If I have um, Pokemon left over in the storage box, then I'm just going to train them up and try to continue the challenge until I'm out of Pokemon. Um, and then um, the battle style is going to be set. I can't switch um, between uh, if I take out a, an opponent's Pokemon, it's not going to be an option to switch in between. Uh, I'm not going to use items in battle, except I will make an exception for like leaders, um, rivals and stuff that will use like an item. I'll use an item to make it fair, whatever. Sue me. Don't sue me. And then um, the run officially starts uh, when we get the first Pokeball. So if somehow my um, starter faints before, you know, the game's the run even starts, then it's not just a run lost. So <laughs> let's, without further ado, let's go. Oh. Yawn. Oh, I'm not going to do all this. Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept. Oh, it's Professor. Okay. No, I, I got it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. One of like 8,000. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. That's my wife in the background. <laughs> we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? 
Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Well, for this, we are going to be the boy. Yes. Please tell me your name. Of course, we gotta go. We gotta go sleepy. Doing low stim gameplay. We're doing. We're gonna make y'all fall asleep during this. All right. Your name is Sleepy. Sleepy, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Cool. And then I'm like, boop, 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 boop. So, cool. Alrighty. Ah, uh, yes. The brand new Wii. Can't run yet. We're just chilling and walking. It's our mom here. Hi, Sleepy. You're finally awake. Your friend Lo Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with their marrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Oh, cool. Look at that. And you get a little, and a little trainer card. Look at that. And a little journal to save your records. Some options. Yeah, come on, come on. You ain't got time. Hey, let's get some of these fast. Set. Stereo. Let's see what window we want. Nice. Let's go with that. And there's a little Meryl. That's the f first Pokemon we see. I really do love the music in this game. I do think overall this was a really exceptional generation with the Diamond Pearl Platinum games and the Soul Silver and Heart Gold remakes. It's good stuff. I also realized I'm just used to skipping over text at this point. So, we have a suspicious, a suspicious little ginger over here. So this is the famous home Pokemon lab. What are you staring at? I'm gonna run out of voices so quick. What, 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 what should your voice be? Oh, I skipped a panel of text already, great. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. People, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball? To see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? Out of breath for doing this. The device over there is some Pokemon you should choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> people in Kanto and Johto just didn't care. They're like, yeah, I'm Mr. Pokemon. Uh, I'm Pokemon Professor. I'm Pokemon Larry. Like, whatever. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still super, or, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Cool. So if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, do that. Um, I did a cross poll 
between um, Twitter and Instagram what game I'm going to play. It was a tie, so I chose Soul Silver. And then on Twitter, as an exclusive, uh, there was a poll. It was exclusive because Instagram doesn't give you more than two poll options, as far as I can tell, um, on what my starter will be. So we got Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon. Totodile, the water type Pokemon, and Cyndaquil, the fire type Pokemon. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, Totodile is my favorite. It got no votes. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. It is my favorite, but it got no votes, no love. Chikorita, with like 75% of the votes, is our starter, which I don't mind. It's better than Cyndaquil. Oh my god, what is that sprite? Alright, so we got a nickname. I didn't think of a nickname for this. I knew what Pokemon I was getting, and I didn't think of a nickname. All right, here we go. It ain't easy being green. Mr. Kermit himself. I literally already forgot his voice. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. <laughs> this voice has changed like eight times. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Sleepy. Cool. Ah, uh, yes, you give me something, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, Sleepy, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Thank you. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a Pokemon if you think it was in danger. I'm gonna like pass out on camera <laughs> from doing these voices. Here's a liar again. Sleepy! So you picked Chikorita! That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. I'll do whatever I want. I'm a rebel. Kermit is sniffing at Sleepy. Adorable. Oh, Sleepy, that's a cute Pokemon you have. I don't know the voices. I don't know. Professor Om must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Om has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see it. It sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poco Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. The Pokemon Gear, or Poco Gear, as it's often called, I <laughs> could have made the connection is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poker Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do. Just power on the Poker Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people. <laughs> but I know. Okay, come on. Okay. Wait one second. No, that's not your voice. What was your voice again? I was completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Okay. Thanks. I'll call you if anything comes up. Okay, and you know, like I said, don't have Pokeballs yet, so... Even if I were to die, I'm all good. 
Route 29. What's this Route 29? I literally got a map. I should have one of my Pokemon here. Embarrassing. I don't. I'm gonna assume it's Route 29. I was gonna write it down, but I guess I blew it. Cool, thanks, buddy. Oh, that's the wrong way. Can't run yet. You gotta walk before you can run. Sorry about it. All of these are bops. I don't really play with the sound on too much anymore. Definitely didn't respect the music enough for a while, I guess. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. Oh my god. Got steps. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. Thanks, buddy. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. And this is the beach. I like staring at the water. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. <laughs> Thanks, man. Me too. Thanks for showing me your house too. Oh, thanks. And there, the, those are my running shoes. Now I can run. Let me zoom. Zoom in away. I'm not gonna buy Pokeballs yet. Even if I have money, I'm not gonna risk it. I made it. Oh, I forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it. The guy gent loaded the map card. And, oh, the. The guy gent larger the map card. There's the town map. That's what I was looking for. I'm not gonna make you read about maps here. Okay. What does Kermit have to say? Kermit is nipping at your feet. Fantastic. So we're gonna leave that off for today. Uh, if you enjoyed, consider hitting like and uh, hitting subscribe. I make uh, other gameplay content. I make content about mental health and um, disability awareness. And yeah, I also dabble in game reviews sometimes. So check those out too. Basically, I have my hand in a lot of media. So um, have a fantastic day.